10 Vital Medical Tips for Treating Wounded Palestinians Hello everyone, and welcome back to our medical advice series. We are all aware of the Israeli-Palestinian war that is going on in Gaza. We hope that the wars will end and that peace and friendship will return to the world. In today's video, we will be discussing 10 important tips for providing medical treatment to wounded Palestinians. Number 1. Ensure personal safety. Before approaching a wounded Palestinian, prioritize your personal safety. Assess the surroundings for any potential threats, and only proceed if it is safe to do so. Your well-being is essential to effectively provide medical care. Number 2. Assess the situation. Once it's safe, assess the situation and prioritize the severity of injuries. Identify life-threatening conditions such as severe bleeding, compromised airways, or cardiac arrest. Attend to these critical issues first before addressing other injuries. Number 3. Control bleeding. Bleeding control is crucial in trauma cases. Apply direct pressure on any bleeding wounds using sterile dressings or clothing. Utilize tourniquets if necessary, following proper guidelines to prevent further damage. Number 4. Maintain airway and breathing. Ensure the injured person has a clear airway and is breathing adequately. If breathing is compromised, perform basic airway maneuvers, such as the head tilt, chin lift technique. If needed, administer rescue breaths or consider using bag valve mask ventilation. Number 5. Stabilize fractures. If fractures are present, carefully immobilize the affected area using splints or improvised materials. Avoid unnecessary movement to prevent further injury and minimize pain. Number 6. Minimize infection risks. Wound infections can complicate the healing process. Cleanse wounds with clean water or sterile saline solution, if available. Apply sterile dressings or cover with clean cloth to reduce the risk of contamination. Number 7. Administer pain relief. Alleviating pain is crucial for patient comfort. Provide appropriate pain relief medications, considering the severity of the injuries and the individual's medical history. Be mindful of cultural sensitivities and communicate effectively with the patient. Number 8. Psychological support. Recognize the potential psychological trauma the wounded Palestinians may have experienced. Offer emotional support and reassurance, and be empathetic while attending to their physical injuries. Referral to mental health professionals may be necessary for further assistance. Number 9. Coordinate with local health care providers. In situations where local health care providers are available, collaborate with them to ensure continuity of care. Share relevant medical information and seek their input to optimize treatment outcomes. Number 10. Follow ethical guidelines. Adhere to ethical principles in providing medical care, including impartiality, non-discrimination, and respect for cultural and religious beliefs. Treat all patients with dignity and respect, regardless of their background. Thank you for joining us in this video on 10 Vital Medical Tips for Treating Wounded Palestinians. By following these guidelines, we can strive to provide the best possible care to those in need, promoting health and well-being for all. As always, stay tuned for more informative content, and remember to prioritize the welfare of your patients above all else. Take care, and see you in the next video. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content.